putting a number to something that we kind of already knew, that the travel ban is keeping travelers away from the U.S., which might be a bearish sign for the $1.1 trillion U.S. hotel industry. Marriott, though, the stock has rallied some 25% since the election. Other travel names like Expedia, Priceline, and Carnival have also rallied some double digits so far this year. But the two executive orders signed by the president, which were subsequently blocked by district courts, have already sent the message to global travelers to maybe look elsewhere. Bookings to the U.S. are down in virtually every market, according to booking app Hopper. Tourism economics predicts 4.3 million fewer tourists to the U.S., which translates to over $7 billion in lost revenue this year. So at a time when the U.S. hotels industry is reeling from the travel bans, they are also fighting competition from disruptor Airbnb. A battle of words today to tell you about. This is after the New York Times got a hold of these minutes from a hotels industry meeting last November and clearly outlining their goals for this year to get more government, local, state, and federal on side in limiting Airbnb, to which Airbnb this morning fired back, calling the industry a hotel cartel intent on short sheeting the middle class so they can keep price gouging consumers and the hypocrisy they say is almost unbelievable so not really missing their words there guys back to you hey there thanks for checking out cnbc on youtube be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories you can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from cnbc thanks for watching